In this video, I'll show you the top five skills for e-learning professionals that you can perform in Snagit 2022. Today, of course, I have a variety of different tools at my disposal to perform the various tasks that an e-learning professional needs to get done. For example, I have Photoshop, the rest of the Creative Cloud, and of course, uh, tools for screen recording like Camtasia. Back when I got started as an e-learning designer developer, when I first went freelance, it's not like I had this huge budget that I could put towards software. So I had to find tools that could do multiple things for me. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some of the key things that you need to get done as an e-learning designer developer using just Snagit 2022. The first one that I can think of is the ability to crop an image. When you get stock photography like I have here, you don't always need the entire image. So let's say for example, I wanted this image here, but I only wanted just a simple headshot of this office worker here. So I can go ahead and download that from Adobe Stock. And I will just save this to my desktop. I'm gonna rename it here and we'll just call it Headshot. We'll download that. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to open up the Snagit Editor. I've got it pinned to my Start menu here, so we can just open that up real quick. Click on the File drop-down menu and click on Open. And we'll just navigate to where that image is downloaded and I'll select Headshot and click Open. So again, here we have the entire image. Many people assume that uh, the only tools available to you are what's in the toolbar up here. I've previously selected Crop, so it does show up, but if it's not available in your toolbar, you can find it in the More section as well. Now, when I select Crop, I can do one of two things. I can either use the selection handles around the outside, or I can use my mouse cursor to simply select how much of the image that I wish to keep. This looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and press crop. And now I have just the headshot of the person in question. So I can go ahead and save that and use it for my uh, learning development that I'll be planning to do later in the day. So let's save as, and we'll call it headshot cropped. So the next skill that we're gonna talk about is resizing an image. Quite often I'll download images uh, such as this office environment. I'll just open that up for you in a second here. I'll use an image such as this for the background of my e-learning and I'll place my e-learning objects over top. Now, the problem with this image is it's 4,500 by 3,000 pixels, probably about four times as large as it actually needs to be for a typical e-learning course. So what I'm gonna use is the ability to resize this image using Snagit Editor. If we go into the image drop-down menu and select resize image, we can type in the long edge of this image to be the resolution that we're actually looking for. So as I said, 1024, and normally I do 627, 1024 by 627. So the height is a little bit larger, but that's okay. I can go ahead and apply that, and that change is done. Now it's occurred to me that I'm gonna be putting a lot of text on the left-hand side of my e-learning page. And I think that the opportunity to use this uh, wall right here as a nice blank background is quite beneficial. So there's another feature in the Snagit editor that you can use to flip the image horizontally. And that's gonna be our third skill that we're talking about in the top five skills for e-learning professionals using Snagit 2022. In this case here, we're gonna choose image and we're gonna select a range. 
And you can see you've got options for flip vertical and flip horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and choose flip horizontal here. Now I've found that sometimes you need to click away and then click back in order to see that change, but it looks good there. So again, I can go ahead and save this as my e-learning background. In this case, I'll overwrite the original. Now the fourth skill that I think is important for e-learning professionals using Snagit 2022 is the ability to blur out information that you might include in your screen captures. Here, for example, I'm signing into my Adobe account and I may not necessarily want to share my email address with all the employees within the company. So let's go ahead and press print screen and capture this in Snagit. And if you click on the more in your toolbar, you'll see an opportunity for blur. There are two different types of blurs. There's what you can call a smooth blur and there's also the pixelated. I kind of prefer the pixelated myself. All you need to do is select the pixelated tool and just draw around the area that you want to hide from your learners. And now you can go ahead and save this screen capture and use it for your e-learning or your instructional design material. The final skill I want to share with you is the ability to record simple software videos. Now, today I have Camtasia and I have various other e-learning authoring tools that allow me to do this. But back in the day when I didn't have a great selection of authoring tools, I might have relied on Snagit to do exactly that. Let's go ahead and open up the Snagit tool and we can now switch from my image that I'm currently using as my default setting and switch over to video here. And of course you can choose to select a region. You can uh, predetermine how you're going to share this video. Uh, I'm going to leave it none for right now. You can choose to record your webcam simultaneously. I'm going to select preview and editor because I'm actually going to want to make a change. I'm going to include the cursor. I think it's important when you're creating software videos or software tutorials that your learners see the cursor so they can see where you're clicking on. And I'm also going to record by microphone so that we can capture the narration, the steps that the learner will need to use. Depending on the application you're teaching, you may wish to record system audio. In this case, it's not important, so I'm going to leave that turned off. Once I'm ready, I can press capture and I can choose either a region or I can choose full screen. In this case, I'm going to go full screen. Over on my other monitor is the toolbar here. So here's where I'm going to press record when I'm ready to start recording. You can see the microphone selected and system audio is not selected. Webcam is turned off. And at any time, I can go ahead and capture a screen capture if I need it. Let's go ahead and press record. I get my countdown, three, two, one. And now I can start the procedures that I'm instructing on. So perhaps I'm teaching people how to go into the Windows settings options and go in and update their software. Okay, so everything looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. And you can see now I have a video in Snagit Editor. One of the great features of Snagit Editor is that I can edit this video and remove stuff that might be kind of boring to my learners. Like for example, when I click on check for updates, it kind of takes a long time. So we can maybe cut out most of this and just keep the final view that, you know, you're up to date, everything's okay. So once I've made that selection, I can cut that out of the video. And now I have a shorter video instead of it being, you know, however many seconds it is, it will now only be 21 seconds instead of 23 seconds. And of course I can now click on file and save my video as an MP4. 
Incidentally, you might need to create an animated GIF from this video, and that's an option that's available as well. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.